prepared for this winter storm. The winter freeze of 2021 was on everybody's mind. Yes, and improvements to the grid proved resilient this time around. We dealt with some local outages, but there were no widespread outages. And we also know fatalities were not an issue. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson live in the newsroom with a breakdown of how we fared during this storm versus the freeze four years ago. Liliana. Well, we know that the winter freeze of 2021 was devastating and it left a lot of people with anxiety and fear, especially when it comes to cold weather here in this part of our country. And so this storm brought a lot more winter wonderland, thankfully, and we're being told that that was for a variety of reasons. First of all, these storms were just so drastically different. The 2021 freeze impacted the entire state. It lasted for weeks and most importantly, it was devastating to the power grid. People needed the power more than ever. They were putting a lot of uh, a lot of output on that grid and overall almost 250 people died from things like hypothermia, carbon monoxide poisoning. This storm was regional because it was a smaller area. It allowed more resources to flow to the area, including much needed power to keep homes warm. Mayor John Whitmire says that his thanks for making this a safer experience goes out to all the everyday Houstonians who followed the city advice. And I give Houstonians so much credit for listening to us, being smart, using common sense, having some fun, but also staying off the roads. That was the key. Right now, the city is commenting on the death of one person that happened during this winter event. They say that this was an unhoused man that they did ask to go to a warming center, but he refused. Unfortunately, he was found dead right now. There is an investigation into whether his death was caused by the cold weather or if it may be some other pre-existing condition.